Hi, this is Luca the Gamer, and here's a guide on how to play as Finn in Multiverses. Multiverses has a number of characters who can fit into a series of diverse archetypes. But what if you just want to duff people with some heavy hits? And what if you still want to be able to speed around the battlefield? Well, there is a character for you, and his name is Finn. But while Finn has a pretty simple game plan and a number of moves that almost instantly make sense, he also has a number of unique quirks that make him operate completely differently from every other character in the game. So if you want to know how his charge attacks work, or what his item shop is all about, then this guide will show you the way. And worry not, we'll make sure to cover all the basics as well. Finn is a fantastically powerful character who can absolutely rack up the knockouts. An excellent approach is to try and stay mobile while holding a charged attack. Once you see an opening, usually when an enemy is committed to an attack, dash in and let your charged attack rip. Chop is one of your rangier chargeable attacks, but at some point you probably want to start going for a slasher attack so that you can get them into the air. Though if you're fighting an opponent with a ton of armor, you may want to go for a low blow bro. A great way to KO an opponent is to hit them with the slasher, then once in the air combo into a slam bam in a can, and finally finish them off with a soaring backpack attack. This is an extremely potent sequence that can take out lighter opponents at a pretty low percentage, especially if you have a lot of coins on hand. Beyond that, use your throwing stones to get behind your opponent in a really sneaky manner. This is a hectic game, so your opponent will probably be too focused on fighting opponents to notice your gem hanging around, which means they'll probably be taken by surprise when you teleport to it. As for your coinage, you're probably going to want to balance buying speed, while also holding onto a decent amount to help your backpack attacks hit harder. While Finn is going to be doing his own thing a lot of the time, your ability to stay mobile while simultaneously charging moves will make it possible to interrupt your opponent's combos with a massively damaging attack. And this will provide your partner with a decent amount of support, as you will be simultaneously landing huge hits while rescuing your ally, though it could be said that you are just using your ally as bait. Another thing to factor in is Finn's Get Stonked attack. It blocks projectiles, which means that if you're fighting a team of mages, you can shut down their projectile game entirely. Thus, you can protect your ally from fireballs in these type of matchups. When it comes to Finn's signature perks, we're going to be honest with you. Neither of these perks are really earth shattering. They can both help balance out your coin usage and are worth equipping, but they don't really fundamentally change Finn's game plan. While going out of business gives you a nice discount at the shop when you're hurt, we probably prefer the coin generating on the house, as you'll likely be landing a large number of fully charged attacks. Honestly, you could probably go with either of these and be fine. These signature perks certainly don't offer the same level of build specialization that most characters get with their signature perks, though maybe Finn already has enough going on as it is. So that's our tips on how to get the most out of Finn in multiverses. Thanks for watching, and check out thegamer.com for more.